Hi, my name is Lee Lazaro, and I'm the IBM Planning Analytics Practice Lead at Revelwood. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the subset editor in PAW to manipulate a subset by performing multiple steps with a single click. So oftentimes when you're in the set editor, you may be put into a situation where you want to grab an element and then other aspects associated with it. Maybe you want to grab a value in the children. Maybe you want to grab a value in the siblings. Maybe you want to grab the parent and the siblings. And in the legacy tool, it, it became a bit of a convoluted process because one of the things we had to do is you had to click on something to copy it. Then you had to recreate a new set. Then you had to pick the next part and paste it. And, and it got to be a multi-step process that was a bit challenging. One of the great things that Paul introduced is the ability to grab an element and. Element and the ancestors, element and the descendants, and element and the children. And the way that we do that on the screen is by using a combination of either replace or insert with the button that determines what are we inserting. Are we inserting the member only? Are we inserting the children, etc.? So if I wanted to grab uh, the year 2018, I could simply say insert the member only. I can insert it and I navigate from the left side to the right side and I brought 2018 over. Okay. Now the challenge that comes into play oftentimes is now that I have 2018, what if I want to look at the children or what if I want to work my way up in addition to just going down? If I want to look at my children, it's easy. I click on the expansion, I can see the children, I can shrink it and I can work my way back up again. But one of the challenges that comes into play is the functionality that I had of the insert insert with the children, insert with the descendants, etc., only applied to the left side of the navigation. As part of PAW version 88, there's an option to introduce that to the right side of the um, equation. And within the element, I can right click it, I can choose the option of either expand to or keep with, and if I want to expand to, I can expand to descendants, ancestors, but I can also work my way up where I can expand up to the parents. Or maybe what I want to do is I want to expand to the parents and the siblings. In this particular case, my parent of 2018 is all years, and my siblings are the independent years, 2014, 15, etc. So I could say expand to the parent and the siblings, and with a single click, it's the equivalent of saying work my way up, keep that element, remove anything that was there, expand down. This single click approach in Paul version 88 now gives us the functionality to do multiple tasks with a single click. And depending on how I want to do it on the side, I can click on another year and I could say expand to, which was the equivalent of show me, or keep with, which is the equivalent of remove everything else and still show me. If I were to keep 2015 with the children, I could click on that and all the other years go away. It's the equivalent of saying go to 2015, keep the element, click on the plus to do some form of expansion. That expansion could have been the children, it could have been all the leads below. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at